Is it true that, that supermodels get paid that enormous amount of money, £10,000 um, a day? I never discuss money ever, and um, I want to correct this, that I never ever said in any of my interviews that I would never get out of bed for $10,000. No, I never said you did. <laughs> we were just making it up as we went along. It's a quote <laughs> that's been following me for a while, but I just want to correct it, because I think um, it's not right, and some people wouldn't make that in a lifetime, so they'd be kind of mad to hear that we'd make that, and, or not get out of bed for that, so. Yeah, but I mean, if it's, it's market forces, isn't it? It's supply and demand. You're a, you're a supermodel now. You can, you can demand enormous fees, can't you? Well, I don't know if we can demand even that much, because it's like, you could be here today and gone tomorrow. I mean, we can, like, say, yeah, we'll do it. Um, yeah. Book it. I'll be there. Yeah, but how, how do the other models feel about the supermodels? Do they feel... I mean, presumably you can dictate the clothes you want to wear, what Actually, shows? no. I wore some like stuff in Milan that I hated, but because they're paying you, you got to wear it, and you can't complain. It's all part of the job, and just smile and do your job, and walk down the runway gracefully as you can, and you know, you it's only for two minutes. <laughs> it's not going to hurt. You still like me. the job? Yeah, I do. I still like the job. Do you think it's harder for for black girls to um, to make it to the top in modelling? Yeah, I, it, it's getting better, I think now, like all over America, London, Paris, Milan. And um, at first, I think it was a trend. And now, I think in terms of like cosmetic contracts and stuff like that, they're trying to market yeah. ethnic women, which has taken a long time to happen, because usually it's a, you can have like 10 um, cosmetic contracts, but not one of them are for ethnic women. That's and right. now they're considering that, and they're thinking that, well, yeah. Uh, Japanese or a, a Jamaican woman is going to want to buy this makeup, so let's start making it and yeah. marketing it. So. so, how did you get started? I mean, every every. It's like a fairy tale, but it's true. Um, I was discovered hanging out in Covent Garden. I don't believe a word of it. Yeah, I just didn't want to go home, and I was hanging out with my school friends, and a lady called Beth came up to me and gave me a card and said, "Do you want to be a model?" And I said, "Yeah." Um, I took the card and took it home to my mother and thought about it for a few days and then went to see her and started. It, 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 you know, every, every young lady listening to this at home, will, and most of them would want to be a model like you, enormously successful and making a lot of money, um, wouldn't believe that because it's so very hard to, to, I be, know, discovered, it's hard to, to be discovered. It's like, it's like a Hollywood story, isn't it? I must ask your mother. Your mother's in the audience. Can we, can we get a picture of, of your mom up there? That's her there. <laughs> Is this true? Yeah, OK, well, your mom says it's true. <laughs> Did she give you any advice? Um, not basically, just um, keep your feet on the ground and not get kind of too big-headed. And... Was she a showbiz mom? Um, no, she wasn't a pushy stage mother, although I went to Tally Conte and Barbara Speaks. So um, she just... I wanted to do it. So, so I kind of said, I want to go to dance, I want to go to act. And she, like... You'd still like to, to act, would you? Yeah, I would, and I've been doing stuff and Cosby Show and stuff like that. Stuff that's right. I don't want to do a, a film or a television show that's not right and expect the model to be just like an airhead. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because models do have that, that image, don't they? Yeah, but I think not anymore. I think it's changing and people are beginning to realise that we're intelligent, that we're business women, and we can take care of ourselves and our careers and manage ourselves well. What's the life expectancy of a, of a model? I mean, the, um, the professional. Life I started expected. at 15, and my agent says to me, I could model till I'm 30, but I don't want to. 15 years is a long time, although there are some that have. I'd like to do other things, um, expand and change and try out different stuff. Is there a tacky side to it? Is there a side where you have to go to parties and be seen? At no, things? you don't have to do... I mean, I go out. Um, I go out mainly to benefits, and every time people see me out, well, you were partying last night. I'm like, no, I wasn't. It was for a cause. But no, you don't have to do what you don't want it to do. I mean, um, if you can help, and I think if you get to a certain point and your name's out there, and if you can help for a cause for AIDS or for children, okay. I think you should try and do so. Does, do ordinary guys ever get to meet girls like you? Yeah, I meet guys on the street every day. Steady. <laughs> <laughs> Just say hi, but... Yeah. Um, you only say hello, yeah, and move on. But, yeah. I mean, you know, there's lots of fellas who would like to take you out. I mean, do you only go out with, with Robert De Niro or Mike Tyson? Or? 
I don't go out with Robert De Niro and Mike, um, yeah, I did go out with Mike Tyson but, and we're still, we're just friends and um, no, it just happens, it's the circle that you're in and you just meet these people but um, um, my first boyfriend was pretty normal and um, I don't have a preference of what kind of man I go out with except if he has a good heart.